Hello students, welcome to another lecture that is on the chapter of communications and supporting subsystems. Right. So, in the previous lectures of this chapter, we have seen about the different uh, controller area network that is used for the control of all the electronic system. We are seeing about the electron electric energy management systems or the strategies that we are going to use for controlling the different components or the different factors or the parameters in the vehicle. So let's start and let's see another strategies about the rule based strategy as we have discussed that optimization based strategy works on the optimizations of the different parameters. We are going to study about the rule based strategies which defines some basic rules on which all the components has to follow and based on that rule our vehicle will work. First is the power faller controller technology. In the power faller strategy the given uh, rules was a simpler one that when the power requirement is higher then both the things has to supply the fuel and when the power system is low or when the vehicle is in idle condition then motor will supply the power and during the normal drive the IC engine will supply the power. Now in this factor we have added one more factor that is cost. So that factor will improve the efficiency of the engine as well as it will improve the emissions level of the engine right by the power faller controller strategy here we can see a simple algorithm which defines how the system or how the controller works in the case of uh, modified power follower technology in that first we will define the operating range in which range the vehicle is going to work that will be defined before work. after that in the case of the second factor that is for each operating point we will calculate the constituents factors. The factors are first engine energy, the second one is the uh, effective motor energy. So energy from engine and motor will be calculated. Also we will see that sum that is the total of the energy that is engine plus effective energy. And also you can see the D factor that is an emissions that is emitted from the engine that will also be calculated in if the emissions are higher from the defined level then it will be improved by changing the air fuel ratio or depending on the different parameters which reduces the emissions right so here the control of the emissions is also added in the case of the modified power controller technology. The third one is the normalized curve will be generated for the energy range that we calculated in the previous section. Then the user weighing will be done. The user uh, force or the user uh, input will be calculated. What is the input that has been given by the user? Then the target performance weighing for that the five weighings will be taken, five random weighings will be taken and one graph for the torque range will be generated which is non-normalized graph and after that finally one impact function will be generated that is a minimized impact function which gives us the one curve for the torque range which is a final torque range which will be fitted in our program. So this is simply how the modified power follower strategy works in which we have added two factors one is the cost factor and second one is the emissions that is going to be emitted from the engine that is also been added in this technology. Next is the state machine based strategy. In the case of the state machine state strategy one state will be defined for the vehicle and for that state a different operation will be divided to our IC engine clutch and motor right we can see that in the table for state that is off state during that the engine will stay off clutch will say disengage and motor will also be stay off that is 
off state of the vehicle. Second is the EM drive state. In that engine will stay off and clutch will be disengaged. EM will work as a motor. So the motoring is written there. And in that case the EM will propel the vehicle. Next is the regeneration at the low velocity. At that time IC engine will stay off. The clutch will be disengaged. And EM will work as a generator. So generating during the regeneration or the regenerative braking with the IC engine disconnected at the low speed. Regeneration at high velocity in that case engine is off, clutch is engaged and EM is generating in that case the regenerative braking with IC engine connected. Next is IC drive in that case the engine will supply the power and motor will stay off. Next is boost at that time both engine and motor will supply the power that is known as the IC engine and electric motor propels the vehicle. During the charging IC engine stays on and motor will work as a generator. IC engine stops at that time motor will work as the motoring and the work in vehicle will stay in the idle condition. Next is IC engine start in that case both the motor and IC engine will supply the power for the vehicle for starting we require higher torque and last is the bleed in that engine is on motor is supplying the power so in that IC is propelling the vehicle and motor is discharging the battery we can say so these are the different states that has been defined for our uh, hybrid electric vehicle and on that different states we will gave the value to our IC engine clutch and the electric motors and that will be followed throughout the system. So the next one is the fuzzy logic strategy. In the case of the fuzzy logic strategy, it is the most uh, common strategy that we generally use in the hybrid vehicles and the main function of the fuzzy logic strategy is that it maximizes the fuel economy for 4 to 5 times that is vehicle giving at the highway driving. It minimizes the emissions. It is again the 4 to 5 times from the normal vehicle. It distributes the driver's request for the power between the two sources pretty evenly whenever it is required. Only the motor will supply, the IC engine will supply or the combination of the motor and IC engine will supply. We will also maximize the fuel economy at any point in the operation. That is, we will provide a dynamic and instantaneous optimization and the maximization of other attributes such as the acceleration of the vehicle will also be done based on the fuzzy logic strategy. So this fuzzy logic strategy gives us the proper and 100% basic logical advantage or logical strategy which works on the basic logic and gives us the output according to the rules that is been set for the different components. This strategy in this one example we will see in that we will see that it satisfies the following objectives in which it minimizes the NOx emissions it is sustaining the battery SOC that is state of charge and it is achieving the desired torque that has been requested by the driver. So the input for this fuzzy logic uh, control are acceleration pedal stroke and the EM speed. Only two things are the inputs and we want to achieve these factors. So for that this is a simple circuit from which you can see that accelerator and braking signal is connected with our main control. The gatings are given which is connected with our inverter system that is connected with the induction motor and the diesel engine here we have taken. With that the transmission is connected. Also you can see the dynamic braking sensor is attached. So after applying the fuzzy logic one output factor that is K dash is generated based on the ratio of the input 1 to input 2. So you can see in the table the different uh, arrangement is given from very low, low, medium, high and very high. So when the input 1 that is the 
speed of the IC engine and the input tool that is the acceleration pedal right the acceleration pedal force so in that case if both are low then the output will be medium one low one medium the output will be lower low and high the output will be very low because the acceleration is very much higher and the input is very low so output torque will be higher uh, sorry output torque will be very low when the input speed is medium, medium and the input to that is the acceleration force is lower the torque will be higher so it is simply saying that if the engine speed is higher and the acceleration force is lower then torque will be increased now this table is shown here in a graphical manner or we can say in a fuzzy logic manner the triangles has been created and you when you combine those triangles you get the value of the output factor that was k dash that defines the torque that is generated from the vehicle so this is simply how the fuzzy logic strategy works so in this chapter we saw about the controller area network and we saw about the energy management strategies that needs to be defined for our hybrid vehicles right so this was it for this chapter right until then thank you so much